Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This video is about my reaction video to Trammy Rovers vs Morecambe at Prenton Park on the 31st of October on Halloween. So I'm going to start from, and it was 1-0 Morecambe, which is a, a defeat to us, which is, we just didn't work well with the team, but yeah. So Trammy Rovers started with a 4-4. 4 4 1 1 with Vaughan up front with Worry behind him. Um, Davis starting in goal. Um, Clark, Manny, O'Connor, um, McDonald, um, uh, who has who's um, Lewis Banks. Can't remember the other two, but yeah. So we started off we started off pretty well in the first half. First 20, 25 minutes. Um playing well, making trying to make chances happen. And yeah, we I think we only had uh four or five shots on target from what I have I seen. But yeah, um we we should be we should have been one nil up. In the first few minutes, in the first, in the in the first twenty minutes, but we didn't score. We didn't. We had so many chances in the game. Morecambe tried to create something in the first few minutes of the game, but the keeper saved it, which was a, a decent save from Scotty. But yeah, um, but we really need we really need to try and make control of the game. Try and score first in in a game, but yeah, um, and then coming into the thirty fifth minute, uh, I think it was thirty fifth or was it like twenty seven twenty seventh minute, and uh, Trammy Rovers weren't doing the best, but then the last five minutes before the end of the first half, Trammy were all over them. On top, they just couldn't get a goal, couldn't get a goal, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. It's a shame that we couldn't get a goal in the first half. So in the second half, I don't know what happened to the lads. Really don't because we didn't really go for it in the second half. We didn't show them what we were all about. We made substitute. We made substitutes in the second half, not the first half, which is a weird one because we normally do in the first half, which. Jacko normally puts us in the first half, but he didn't. So he put, brought him on about the 66th minute and the 70th minute with Corey Black and Taylor coming on and um, Sam Smith and that. But yeah, um, to be honest, from what I've seen, I think you should have put him on so much earlier, maybe like the 55th minute to give him more chance to try and score a goal. Instead of the last twenty minutes, because you don't want to be leading, you don't want to be trying to lose the game. But then I think it was like the seventy-fifth minute, um, McDonald took one of their plays down, and then um, I, th I think it was a guy called Ashley, Ashley something who scored for Morecambe. Scored penalty. Um, Scotty Davis went the right way, but didn't get a hand to it and didn't save it. So Tramier were losing, lost. Tramier lost one nil. Second half was so poor, but we need to create more things if we want to try and win the games. And then I think it was twenty minutes after the game, Mike Jackson got the sack from Tramier Rovers. Which he only, he only had ten games at Tramier with only wins from w wins for Tramier Rivers were against Southend and Scunthorpe United early on in the season. But we need to win more games than that. We really do. Out 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 of these ten games, we only won two games and losing five and drawing three. I think. But yeah, we really need to show them what we're all about. But in my eyes, I think it was the right decision for Tramia Rovers to sack him. Because 
I didn't think he was doing the right things, bringing bringing substitutions on in the first half, first twenty five minutes to thirty minutes. I really disagree. I was I was shocked why he was doing that, but. And obviously he used to be a defender, so I think he he, he prefer going defensive because the formations were wrong. Everything was wrong about the teams. I think he's only gone four four two twice during his time at Tramia. But we wish him good luck. See where he goes in the in the future. But yeah, he's he's Tramia. He used to be a Tramia player. But yeah, good luck to him where he at, wherever he goes. So we could be get so who we're gonna get as the next manager. Personally I think Parkinson will take over as an interim manager and just see how it goes in maybe two or three games and then because I think we've got Wigan in the Corp in the Czech Street Corp, we've got Atkinson next Saturday at home. But will that game be going ahead because of the COVID situation with Atkinson Stanley with them having 19 players and um, um, a coach having COVID. And we have Harrogate on Tuesday, which is a massive game for us. We really need to win this game. But um, maybe Ian Dawes is going to be there with... Um, oh, what's his name? Ian Dawes with uh, Parkey, Parkinson. So will Parkinson be the man to take us for the th next three games and possibly try and get managers like in um the Cowleys, um who else? Cowleys, um Nigel Clough, Graham Alexander. Personally, I think Graham Alexander or um Danny Cowley would be a fantastic move for them or something like. Nigel Clough or uh, Jimmy for the Hassel Bank, which I think will be a class improvement as a manager because uh, we already know what they're like and what they're about. Obviously, with Cow Cowley used to be in at Lincoln and obviously done well with them and get them up to League One. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that that would be a good move for Cowley if he came to Tramia or getting them. Um, for the Hassel Band, which I think would be a good one. Or um Paul Cook, who used to be a Trammy player and he used to be at Wigan. So I think that'll be a good improvement for our next manager. Hopefully more attacking. We need more attacking football at Trammy Rivers because it's boring to watch at the moment. It really is boring. Because it, it, it made me fall asleep that last game when we played, um, was it Craw uh, Crawley? I was so bored, I was pissed off the way we were playing. We didn't, we didn't work, or the work rate was awful. We need to improve this quick and fast and try and get things sorted. So, um, thank you for what you've done, uh, Jacko. Hope you do well wherever you go so thank you for being at Tramia and trying to show what you can do but nothing always works out in life but yeah um yeah so I'm going to be doing my preview for Harrogate on maybe tomorrow or Monday but it'll definitely be out before Tuesday before my reaction video on Tuesday night when we play Harrogate Town away which I, I, I was looking forward to going on Harrogate, but obviously with this COVID situation happening, I'm gutted because we're in lockdown for another month till December the 2nd, which we don't, I don't know what's going to be happening. And yeah, so um, my man of the match today, I don't think there was a man of the match. I think O'Connor played well in the first half. I thought he was good. Trying to create chances, crosses, trying to make something happen, but and obviously Vaughan had the shot uh, in the second half. Personally, I thought that was in when he had that shot in the I think it was the sixty fifth minute. But yeah, and um, we really need to improve, and we have to have 
a good formation for the next game against Harrogate. Personally, a 4 4 2 or 4 4 3 3 or something because we need to attacking players on the pitch. Personally, Blackett's here, I think he should start on Tuesday with Morgan Feeney, but more, um, Leon Feeney, sorry, not Morgan Feeney. Leon Feeney needs to start as well with attack uh, wingers on both sides because they're, they're pace. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for new. So, for next time, I'll see you guys in a bit, maybe tomorrow or Monday. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, peace out, up the lights, and come on, up the lights, come on, try me. We'll always be behind you. So, help me.